Okay, let's start this one. Can you hear me? <laughs> okay, for those of you that are tuning in, I am so sorry for the first hiccup. Hopefully you can hear me now. Let me know. Shout it out at me. Can you hear me? Is everything okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, you can hear me. Okay. <laughs> we have found. Hi there. Okay, Vicky, Mandy, Che, uh, Laura, Pat, Unicorn. Oh my gosh, there's so many of you. Cassandra, Selena, Jane, Pat, Sue, Jude. Oh, there's so many. A big, huge blanket welcome and happy February, everyone. <laughs> I am so sorry. Yes, give those thumbs up to this stream. Ignore the last stream. The last stream is going to be deleted um, because it just didn't want to work. So for those that were over in Lisa's stream, um, she has been working on the exact same image that I am going to be doing today. Hi, KP. <laughs> Hi, Heather. Connie, Lou, Sherry. Oh my gosh, so many of you. Patty. Hi everyone, okay, so it is February, which means there is a huge event, it was organised by Shelley and Belinda, um, there is lots of streams, so it's a streamathon as well as a colorathon. Um, if there are so many images, so instead of printing all the images off, bless Laura's heart, she's given me, so I thought, these could be preview pages for you. Hey Robin, hi Lisa, I enjoyed your stream. I was watching in the background. Um, I am doing exactly the same image but completely different. Hi Sue, <laughs> hi Christina. Oh my gosh, that took me forever to get that. I just not, not used to um, OBS and it is, you know, it's a new thing all on my own. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying, I'll get there. I've just got a lot to learn um, because now with YouTube changes, we all have to come on over to other platform. So do have a look at all the images. So let me just quickly go through with you what we have. We've got quite a lot. Um, oh, go with your guests. Honestly, they're here to watch back. Hi, Helly. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Hello. There's so many. There's so many. Okay, so we have lots and lots and lots of images. I'm just going to go through the ones that I printed off for now. Um, be sure to share the link. I mean, all the links are in the description. If there's any extra images in this stack that I have not got, please put them in the chat and they'll be approved um or just you know give a shout out to my to yourself is it a little, little echoey okay so maybe that's just because there's a bit of a hold on guys hold on do let me know okay turn off the audio inputs on obs at the bottom this one yeah is that better Okay. Thank you. This is what I need. I need input. I can't hear myself. So, <laughs> um, if there's autofocus, just bear with it. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Perfect. So, also check that your little, um, you know, your cogs where it's got your quality, make sure it's up. Good sound now. Perfect. Brilliant. Thank you. This is, see what I mean? See what I mean? Okay. So there are lots of images and I'm going to go through some of them with you. Um, so we've got Lisa Matrokin. I have written them down because there's lots. I, I mean, there's so many that I can't think about it because there's too many. <laughs> okay, so we've got Lisa Matrokin. We've got Genova Art. She's got a couple. We have um, Jennifer Zimmerman, Yana Fairy Art. We've got Grazia Salvo. We have, these are the official ones that I know about. There is more. So if there's more, let us know. We've got Nathaniel Wake, Monia Gates. We've got um, Michelle Caller. We've got, that's more Lisa, Emily Illustrator, Deborah Muller, Dawn Davidson, Colour and Cheeks, um, Christine Karen, Laura Rafferty, um, Cheryl LaFond, uh, Rain Art, 
bear with me. Neliki show makeup, just say cool now. There's any extras. I know Sean put a thing out, but he's got one. We've got um, Dawn Davidson, her husband Matt. There is also another one coming by Jennifer Zimmerman, which is going to be, um, I believe, this one here. But she's going to just do a portrait. Um, so it's going to be this one. Uh, but it is going to be a portrait. So uh, this one here, I think it'll focus, uh, is just going to be a portrait version. So I will turn the autofocus off if I need to. And today I will be giving away two images, so let me just go through them. The free images are also in the description. So we've got one by Nathaniel Wake, completely free. So if you aren't able to get yourself, you know, this weekend because, well, funding might be a little bit tight or whatever there might be, you've got one by Nathaniel and you've got one by, um, that's, no, Lisa's is to give away, so we've got a giveaway one, and we've got one by Emily. So these two here, oh, are completely free in the links, and then there are two, oh gosh, hold on, hold on, okay, can you hear me? Is it nice and clear or is it still echoing? Is there an echo? Can you hear me now? <laughs> Echoes back, is it going or is it still there? Echoes, is it got bad? Better, okay, we look like we're gonna have little issues. <laughs> Better, are we better? No echo, brilliant. Okay, just that's it. Put it in big capital letters to me, and yeah, I'll always, always need your input. Okay, these are in the description. They are completely free, and then we will be having two giveaways given by a wonderful artists. <clears throat> we've got one by Lisa Matrokin, and we've got one by Unova Art. So I'll be doing that in about an hour's time. Just my mods will let me know and, um, you know, we're going to do these. So we're going to do one giveaway, giving away this page and another giving away that page. And it will be a random generator. So we'll also do that. So there's quite a lot. Just one little tip that I have done. And I showed you this, oh my gosh, how many years ago? Probably two years ago now. Just, I always refer to things when I'm not quite sure and I do these for my personal use these are not to be sold or anything these are just because they're so they're sourced from the internet so if you're ever stuck on something that you need help with these are the kinds of things that I'll do to give myself some inspiration so I've done in the past you might have seen this about oh my gosh two years ago I showed a bunch of these didn't I do you remember if you've been with me that long um, and I showed you the things that you can do in order to get some inspiration should you need it. I mean, there's different wing colours. There's like different things you can do. Um, jeweled wings, holographic wings, blue wings, iridescent wings. Just little things. And then like when you're thinking of, hiya Jennifer. Um, you know things like, the, I'm going to do my fairies as two forest fairies. So these are the kinds of things that I kind of print off and think, right Sam. If I'm needing some inspiration, I'm just going to look at these. And like, if I ever get a, mm, what colour goes together with the greens? I can look at the ochres, I can look at the, you know, the golden colours, the, the sort of yellowy greens, the dark greens, the browns. These are the kinds of things that I do. Um, and like when I think of fairies, I think of forests and mushrooms and toadstools. And I know, Jennifer, you've got one on your fairy where you've got some toadstools. I know there's a couple that's got them. So just get yourself some inspiration. You don't have to do this, um, but you can just kind of go along with, you know, something that might give you a little bit of inspiration for yourself. So, as I said, lots and lots of images out there today. So many. How, who's grabbed them? They are all in the description below of this video. So, so many. Hi, Lisa. Hi, everyone. Oh, my gosh. Let me just say hello to more people. Bear with me though, there is a delay. Um, so, oh, Ray, 
Hey, <laughs> I didn't see you come in, Adri. Ha he oh, woman, it Helen. Um, I need my glasses. Ria, oh, Rochelle, Charlotte. Hi, everyone. Right, okay, so we're ready to get on with something today. So, okay, I know Lisa's done this. I know that Laura's done this, but I'm going to do my take on this too. There is a story behind this wonderful image, and it is based on <laughs> Laura's love story. I, I'm, my sound is quite far up. I'll try it a little bit more. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Right, is that better? Is the sound okay? Can you hear me? Is it louder? Okay. Hi, <laughs> Nana. There is teething issues. Bear with me because this is uh, all new to me. All new to me. I am using the microphone. Okay. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to be doing is a forest fairy. Now, I have kind of planned... I haven't planned massively, but I have a little bit. Okay, so just bear with me. Um, and as I said, we are going to be doing some giveaways. And we're also... Oops! It is gorgeous, isn't it? That's what I said. It's amazing. Hold on, I've just seen a finger mark. Which bugs me. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit like, I can't do finger marks and stuff on places. Okay, so, weirdly, um, if you want to, if you didn't watch them and you really wanted to learn Foca or Foca or I don't know how you pronounce it, background, do check out Jennifer Zimmerman's from last night. It was absolutely amazing. And funnily enough, you are so funny. Because great minds think alike. Because I've got two things I'm going to do today. So I'm going to be breaking out the pan pastels. And we're going to be doing like these beautiful greens. I don't know if you can see these stunning colours. Um, so we're going to be playing with those a little bit. And weirdly... Oh, and at the very end of this picture. But I won't be doing it all on. I, this is some extra to put in the wings. Now these are for your nails. And it's like a glitter. Can you see that? Hold on. So it's like this um, this glittery amazingness, but you need some glue. So that is the glitter that I'm going to be using. It was, oh my gosh, I'm going to be trying that like as soon as possible, Jennifer. You're just like a, um, a magician. You and, uh, just honestly, just I call you magicians. You're all wonderful. You all like just make me sit there with my mouth wide open. Okay, and weirdly, what made me laugh, I thought... I'm going to have like a bit of a, a play. Now, I have had a play beforehand. Now, you don't have to be like this and plan. I did this because I'm doing a stream. Um, but I had a little bit of a play around prior to. And this is not, I just play with colours. So, I'm just going to do like foresty colours. And this is going to be pink, like petal. This is not how it is, guys. I'm just getting colours. So, I was going to do a little bit of a bockery type in the back as well. Not like anything like you did but I was just going to play with some stuff and use some light sauce and I need a ruler to sort of come down and you know pan pastels are actually really really nice to arrange um, they're really easy to arrange so that's what we're going to do today and hopefully it won't come out like a mess <laughs> it was amazing it was amazing okay so just a couple of things before I do start um, ba -ba -ba -bum. I do have the amazing mod, bless them, they're going to, um, if you need any links for anything, let them know. They are down in the description, but if you, you know, specifically want something, then let them know. Um, this is the schedule, that is the streamer schedule, and big shout out to the streamers, as well as the artists, because, you know, the streamers are making, like, a lot of time aside and um, I'm really trying to promote the artist which is my thing I love to do that as well 
Um, so a big massive shout out to all those people that have, you know, taken time to um, do this. It's it's a wonderful thing to be able to do. Okay, so I'm not going to be all fancy. I'm just going to do my thing and have a nice relaxed drink. The one thing I have actually done prior to was grab some pencils in the colours that I need. So like there's some browns, um, there's some greens, there's some yellows, ochres, some skin tones. Um, so basically the colours that we need. I've put that there aside just in case I need that. And yeah, I've just put them aside just so it's easier for me to grab. I have been a little bit more organised but I feel like, <laughs> yeah... There's so many. Hi, everyone. Um, so, yeah, definitely go check out all the artists. They have done so many pictures. I was, like, astonished. I was like, wow, that's a lot of pictures. <laughs> you guys have been busy. I mean, some of, you know, the artists have done two, three. Um, so, you've been busy, ladies and gents. Very busy. Okay. So, with regards to my colour choices, um, I've got these, I don't know why that's torn up, there we go, um, I'm just going to have a little play around really, and um, see how this comes out, I do need that piece of paper, because that is my tester, and we're just going to chill, really, um, You've got some of the amazing artists in the streams and they are doing the really fancy techniques and then I'm just going to just do my thing. Ah, uh, it's everyone. Everyone's been here to support everyone and as I said, Belinda and Shelley have organised this. Um, you know, we did the steampunk last year and I never... I know how much work goes into these things and um, it really is, it's, I just, I, I know I did it for the love of just, just wanting to um, support the artist and I believe that that is exactly the reason for this one as well, it's just like, we've got so many incredible artists in this industry who deserve the love and attention and I think these, these events kind of just bring them to the forefront and are able to do that. So yeah, it's been it's been um it's been an amazing thing to watch. I mean, uh, you can't physically you can't be at everyone's stream, can you? But you try and make more. And don't forget, you can just pop in and out as you want. I'm just putting the socks on. Um, pop in and out as you want. You know, these are here for enjoyment, and they're here for you to come in and out, be a part of the ones that you can be a part of, and um, yeah, just. Just have fun with it, ladies and gents, you know? It's exactly why it's there. I was having a little bit of stage fright. I'm not even going to, like, lie. Because I just feel like, oh my goodness, <laughs> there's going to be so many. And uh, it's unusual for me. Um, okay, so I just really want to look at colours for a minute. So, I'm looking at, like, these kinds of tones. I, I want a dark, but we're going to start off with light to begin with. So I really just want to lay in some tones and I'm going to build up on them. So I'm kind of looking at more, they're like an olive green, am I right? So really, is there more issues with my microphone? Sorry, I just, Sean's just said, is there issues with my mic? Is everyone hearing wrong or right? Okay. Okay, is there is it okay now? Do I have to bring it up a little bit? Okay, let's bring that up a little. Bear with me. Okay. Echo, is it okay? We're going to bring it back up again. 
Oh my gosh, it's gonna be one of those strings. Muffled, okay. No, no, no. Better, not better. If it keeps dropping. See, I can't hear myself. Is it okay? Okay. Okay, I really want it to be clear as possible, so. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be one of those strings where it's just gonna keep going. <laughs> oh my goodness, is it better? Okay, all right. Right, so I'm gonna get a test piece of paper to begin with, and I'm just picking up um, chrome. Yeah, okay. So chrome oxide green tint. So these are the kinds of colors that I wanna lay in at first. So they're like a really, they're not too bright, right? So when I'm gonna start to layer in, you're gonna see that it's gonna build up. And then obviously when you go to your darker, you'll build into that. But we're not gonna get to that point yet. So I just wanted to give you an example, like you can build with pans and go off, start off light, you know, and don't go in quite heavy. So with that as well, you also need a bit of like paper or tissue or something that you can wipe off on. Okay, so this is quite a small area and a small design. And what I was thinking is I want my rays of light to come like down, like it's shining on them because they're in love and you know, they're the perfect love story. It's based on Mark and Laura. So it's the Mark Law. The Mark Law. <laughs> okay, so very lightly I'm gonna come in. Um, I don't wanna worry about my wings because they're transparent. And I'm just gonna bring this um, chrome oxide tint in first. And as I said, I'm not gonna worry about and you can erase as well with um, pans, so it's gonna be fine. And I'm not gonna worry about the wings because the wings are transparent. You can also erase. So I'm gonna just kind of focus on getting the color in. And they're gonna be forest fairies. Hello, Kathy. <laughs> I can't even like, if there's anything for me, please pop it in the capital letters and shout. <laughs> so I'm really digging like forest colors at the minute. And it was so funny because I messaged Laura the other day telling her and she was doing the exact same palette on that moment. And I was like, no way, that's just spooky. Like Christine has been spooky this week when I've gone to message her about something she's got there first. And Laura, she's spooky because she was doing the same thing as me. And I was like, what's going on ladies? <laughs> So you're gonna see, I am just putting in enough tint. This is a tint. Hi, Gary. So I'm just gonna put that up there a minute. And again, I'm gonna bring into this area. Now, I do spray with fixative at the end, not at the beginning, obviously, like not throughout the stages because it's not, it's a final fixative, it's not a workable one. So I'm not gonna, um, I'm not going to spray until the very end. So this is just planting in where I want my colour placement really. So I'm going to bring, um, she's going to have some in the middle. See, I want them to have it coming like down and through like there. So this is just like mapping. I say it all the time, don't I, about mapping out. It quite literally is that. Yeah, it really was, we were on the same page. Hi, Tammy. Um, anyone coming in, a big welcome. Big, big welcome. Thank you for joining me on this February and a big shout out to the organizers and to um, the streamers. Bless your hearts for doing it and you know giving up your time because it is like a dedication and big shout outs to all the artists for the amazing pages you have created. I mean, they are just, so 
just very quickly, I'm going to bring that up a bit. Can you see that it's going to be quite a minimal, I really like that placement actually. And then it's going to be just on the underneath. It is chrome oxide green tint. I don't know if you can see that. If I, That's the colour that we're using. Okay. And I literally just am placing where I want some colour. And we're going to build up. This is just like going to be shining out of them. All this amazing forest colour is going to just be... Oh, not an echo again. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, da da da. I think I'm just gonna have to keep playing around for you all. Oh, okay. Right, so I'm just putting a little bit at a time. I am in no way an artist. We've got artists in the house. We've got artists in the house. So, any questions about the actual images, do ask artist if there's any techniques that you're particularly wanting to know more about ask them um they are amazing okay yes there's so much hi Lou did I say hello to you hon okay so I'm just getting my pans out am I going to bring that I think that's like does that look like it's kind of beaming out of them this forest light now don't forget as well when you want to bring some rays of light in you can kind of bring that we don't do that yet and like put these rays coming down and it will replicate that when you erase the lines so we're going to do that at the very last moment okay so i'm kind of really liking we've got muscle mark here <laughs> so if anyone's wondering laura has based this on her, I'm going to read the story out to you. Um, Laura has based this letter on her lo her own love story because what's better than your own love story? So if you bear with me, I'm going to read you it, and um, you can hear the story behind. I'm going to just turn my volume right down. Uh, the story behind this amazing image because yeah no don't hide don't hide okay are you ready so the story behind the drawing is each year the butterfly fay clan and the dragonfly fay clan migrate to different regions of the world to enjoy their warmer vacation homes during the frosty days of winter in an ethereal glen of Bluebell Woods. Now, Bluebell Woods is Laura's first book, right? I'm here. <laughs> I think Bluebell Woods was your first book. Um, the two clans meet up in the late spring with a festive party to enjoy the uniquely mystical forest in the more temperate seasons. These two met one year as the first leaves fell after blushing with bright colour. They savoured what felt like only a brief moment of intense love before the great migration. Here they reunite, okay, in there, they reunite after months of being apart. Either one swore they couldn't live without the other and visibly moped during the dreary winter months. Yet they overcame the heartache of separation to reunite again in a moment of joyful passion. Ooh, I. <laughs> The swirling dance they created on their first embrace in this picture uh, sprung a rose bush, right, of unrivaled beauty and in the very heart of the plant a perfect circle to mark, get it, mark, <laughs> the magical meeting dance. Decades later it's rumoured that when a man plucks a rose from the prolific bush and offers it to the one he truly loves, their bond will blossom with an unbreakable eternal strength. Isn't that wonderful? I know, it's amazing. So, I love how you put Mark in there. Mark. <laughs> okay, so anyone coming on in, I am just using... Oh, there we go. Can you see that? Don't worry about my nails at the moment, they all broke. Chrome oxide green tint. Um, so I'm just planning out where I want my colours to sort of come in by. Now, don't forget, that's, gonna, that's my base. It's my base. <laughs> okay 
next up I'm going to start to layering a little tiny bit now when I'm going to bring in some sun rays I'm actually going to bring I'll do that now I'm just going to place them in so I'm going to bring in um, bright yellow green tint and I'm just going to um, place in a very light amount so don't forget when you're mixing your colours down that it's going to shine on them right you can always erase, which I will do, and you can blend out. And you've also got a colourless blender, so just with the tip you can kind of blend that down a bit. Um, so I don't know if you can see, there'll be a few sun rays coming in. So when you have anything that you may have overdone, just grab your eraser, quite literally and just erase a little bit so that was a bit too much but that's fine because your eraser is your best friend okay and then um just brush it away it really is that simple it really is that simple hi honey pickle <laughs> okay so you really can just play around with color here and i love that there's going to be um just a few rays coming to like down and I want some on her face slightly, so just a little bit. Okay. So just play around, guys. Just don't be afraid to. I'm just going to love that they're going to have a little bit. Okay, so just a few rays of light. And I'm going to come in and erase a couple. So don't be afraid to use the source of light coming in. There we go. I quite like that placement actually, so we'll play around with that after. We're going to get our pencils out. We're just doing a pan, um, a pan base. Okay. So next up, I'm going to go for something a little bit darker. We're going to just place them. I'm going to get a little bit of a smaller thing to put that in. So I'm going to go for bright yellow green shade. Hey, I am live. <laughs> I'm here, and I'm actually going to get a mixture. Oh Lord, where did I put them? Oh, there they are. A mixture of um, these little applicators and Q-tips, and there's a reason for that. Okay, so very, very, very lightly, I'm just going to place some of that colour that I've just showed you. And now, you only need a tint of it to begin with, because I'm just going to come in. Do you want me to go in a little bit more, so you can see what I'm doing? There we go. Is that good? Can you see? Okay. So very, very lightly, I'm just going to start to bring in some of that colour in between the wings. We will darken this up, you know, we've got to bring in, they build up, they build up. Okay, so we're going to come on that underneath here, and don't forget you can erase, that's why I love pans so much. I can't wait till we get to our pencil work as well. See, I'm one, I'm quite big on like getting all your pencil work in after like you don't have to you can use pan straight um, but I really like to bring that in to kind of detail <laughs> well you can kind of swear but just not nasty swearing <laughs> going to put a little placement in at the bottom so this is just mapping out really for myself and when we go in with pencils we're going to go in with like deep ochres green ochres um, just some really cool colors now I am going to bring some into her wing because don't forget she is transparent and we will sort of reflect that now there's a little area here underneath her wing as well, so as long as you can see clearly. And we are going to bring the eraser in if we need it after. Okay, so just blend that bit out, just a nice blend out. So I'm just going to play with colour for a minute. And then my darker colours are going to come in. I just really want to sort of 
put in a little bit. Now, it's your picture, you can play with it however you want. Now, I'm just going to try and do like rays of forest sun. Um, so, yeah, I really like playing around with colour. I don't know about you guys, but it's one of my favourite things. Hi, everyone! Hi, cat and paste. Hi, Ola, did I say hello? It is Rosemary. <laughs> we know the story. <laughs> We know the story behind it now, so yeah, it's got a meaning, and that's what I love about things, you know, when I hear stories behind things, um, it kind of makes me want to colour it a little bit more, especially if it's something personal, but then you've also got a bit of a pressure because you don't want to, you know, mess it up. Now, you're thinking, oh my gosh, now don't forget, this is just like, boom, sunlight, rays. So now we've got to deepen, um, so before we do anything, let's have a go at different greens before I put them on. See I kind of like this green, this or, oh no, okay, I might do both, okay, we're going to have a play now. So now I need to put some deeper areas, right, and I'm going to go for, whoopsie, um, bright yellow green extra dark there we go it's focused yeah now I'm just gonna very lightly um just I want where the deeper areas might be so just go I'm gonna go on the edge okay I'm just gonna place that outwards My pencil work is going to be where all the detail is going to come in. I'm just putting where I would like things to come in. Um, hold on, the colour is funny on your screens. I don't know why. Let me try and fiddle with that a minute. Hold on, guys, because it is not the right colour. Bear with me. Right. Just bear with me two minutes because you just need to have the true colour to what it is. Uh, okay. Okay, let's go underneath a little bit. So ignore the twig for a minute because we're going to add the brows to that anyway. And um, yeah, just like with watercolour, I suppose, you, you do a base, you work it out, and then you add your, your tones on top kind of thing. Okay. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Oh. Just minimise that. Sorry. And remember that our freebies, if my... Someone, one of my lovely, beautiful mods, I hate giving you guys jobs, um, I never like it, I'm like, oh my gosh, would you post the link for the freebies, the two freebies, one by Emily Illustrator, it's in the description, um, one by Emily Illustrator, and one by Nathaniel Wake, uh, just to remind people that there is actually a couple of freebies if you aren't able to to buy anything you know not everyone's got the funds this weekend and that's absolutely fine you don't have to be um you don't have to feel you can't be a part of this when you when you can you know that's why there's a freebie usually in these events just so that everyone can be a part of it okay so i'm really digging where i've put that placement of color so Oh my gosh, <laughs> I didn't see that, I never look at numbers, it's like, it's funny because people say to me, Andrew said to me the other day, you're nearly at 9,000 9, subscribers, I said, am I? I never look, I'm the world's worst for it, I'm like, okay, <laughs> thank you, okay, I'm just going to come back to my chrome oxide green tint a minute. Um, and I'm just going to blend that out just slightly. And then don't forget my pencils are going to do a lot of this work after. Okay. 
So I don't want it in her hair so much, but let's bring that out, blend that out a little. I'm gonna go over the rose a little bit there, but I will erase the bits that I need to. Okay, kind of, yeah, I'm liking where I've put that. So let's just go a little bit on the brow. Oops. My little love fairies, they are. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think Vicky, are you here, honey? I think you're next, aren't you? After me, I believe so. Um, okay, I just need a little bit of a darker, but I do that with pencil. So I'm kind of just digging where I've done that. I'm going to keep that like that because to me it looks like um, a big spray of forest light. Yeah, I can work with that with pencils now. Okay, so I'm just going to move those for a minute. And what I'm going to do is grab my stencil, sorry about knocking that, and I'm just going to bring a few little tiny, I'm getting, you need a Q-tip or a cotton bud for this, and just with the green, um, I'm going to grab the <laughs> chrome oxide green. And just very lightly, I'm going to put a couple, you know, like these. I'm just going to put a couple, so I'm going to put them, one is going to be that colour. I'm going to sort of mix them, and one's going to be bright yellow-green tint. I don't know if you can see that, but it will kind of show up like in little small... And then one's going to be sort of overlapping her wings. Uh, we'll go there. And that one I'll bring in um, the chrome oxide green tint. And then it might have a little bit of the other one on there, but that's okay. The whole point in this is that you have a play. Now, that one's going to be quite light as opposed to that one, which we're going to add a little bit. So just kind of grab random and then... We're going to mix it all in, don't forget. Okay, so this side's going to have that one. And I'm going to do um, chrome oxide green. Let's go for that number 13. Oh, I'm going to shade these with a little bit of pencil as well. Mm, doo -doo -doo. Let's go for, I can't wait for this to like all come together. Let's go for that colour again. And then very lightly beside it, I'm going to go for the yellow. And there we go. Okay, kind of just like that. And then don't forget, I'm going to shade. Now, I want a yellowy tint. So I'm going to go for a tiny bit underneath here. And this one is quite yellow. It is um, bright yellow green. No, it's very yellow. Look, it's quite a... A bright contrast so I'm just gonna go for a small one on that and just kind of bring that in just go for a little one in between them there but not over the whole thing so just like I'm gonna erase where her skin is so. okay so I'm going to mess around with them also when I have got my pencils. So I'm digging like the start of it. Okay. Hi Lulu. Okay, let, let me just move this out of my way, sweeties. And then we're going to get on with pencil work and stuff. Um, so I'm going to shade my pencils into that. Of course I am. <laughs> I can't not. Okay, let me just move that a second. Now, I am going to get a bit of paper because I can't stand. I'm not going to fix the civet yet because there's actually not masses of it. I'm just erasing like the mess I made. Okay, so, so far, if I just come up a little minute, can you see that the rays are going to come down? 
hold on. So if I bring my parade coming like down that way towards them, um, you can grab anything really, any of your razors, but I'd go for a thinner one. Um, so I use the, ah, oh, can you see what that's called? It's like a Faber Castell Perfection, um, I think it's 7056. Um, so I'm just kind of bringing... I don't want to fix it yet because I've got things to work on top of it. So I'm going to bring in like a ray of light coming sort of down. I don't know if you can sort of decipher that. I don't want to. Just mind smudging. Can you see it's going to kind of bring. And I'm going to bring a few more. So coming from that same direction, I'm going to go from that same one. And don't get me wrong, I'm not professional guys. I am just having fun with a picture that I'm totally in love with. So I'm going to bring, hold on, from that same bit, go from the point when you're doing the rays. So the same ray of sunshine, and just kind of bring it down. Yeah? Can you see that? They're like rays of sun. And then we can do all our pencil work. And in that same little tiny corner, you know, like I say with hair, the only way I can describe it, imagine your hair, you've got that, and you're kind of like going outwards. This is your ray of sun kind of thing, and you're bringing those rays of sun out. Oh, you're welcome. This is just something that I, I do. It's, um, you know, there's just there's different ways. So in the middle of those two rays, I'm going to do another one. So again, from the point, I'm just going to bring my eraser down. Just through the pastels. And the good thing with pastels is that they do erase so easily. So I don't know if you can see there's like rays of light coming through, right? So we're just going to work with that. And then we're going to do our nice um, techniques. I think just a little bit more that way. So... I'm digging that, I'm digging that. I think that looks quite good. So I've got the sunlight coming onto them because they're in love and why not? Right, I'm gonna work at this bottom bit here because I wanna deepen that green there. Hi Leslie, hi everyone coming on in. I'm so sorry, I've been disconnected from the chat because I'm just showing you what I'm doing. Um, so we're gonna work with pencils now to sort of deepen that up. Don't worry too much if you smudge a little bit because you can actually just Hi Emily, you can really just um, erase, and that's the good thing with pastels, just erase, you know, it's uh, it's a nice easy technique, and anyone can do it, and you can go deeper, and I probably can fiddle around with it and deepen it up, so just play around, you know, it's one of those things as well that, if you've got a vision, don't be scared to try it, because what's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is you don't like it, okay? Try again. It's fine. And that's the good thing about it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to... I'm going to sharpen my pencils. Okay, let me see. Oh, thank you, Cassie. <laughs> you had a bath that looked like The Walking Dead. I'm so sorry. Okay, there is a slight delay. So if you say something to me and I'm answering you, I am actually answering you straight away. It's just not coming through to you for a minute. All right. So I've got my pencils. I've got Prismacolors. And I'm going to go for a green. Okay. So grab a piece of card. And kind of color match now so underneath there you know that's a nice green to go for and that is olive green but then I really like green ochre you've got dark greens you can do I'm kind of I'm going more for the olive there I think the olive will look good and then I took all these ones out that I think I might need <laughs> um, and then I've got green ochre so I'm really liking this one and this one I think they look really cool so I'm going to go for those. 
I hope this doesn't really like have a racket in your ear. This one. Oh, KP, I don't know if I'm going to even do them like conventional yet. I really want them to have a glow. The skin tone is the one thing that I was undecided on. I said to Laura, I've got like everything else in my mind, but the actual skin tones, not yet. I'm kind of thinking, do I want to do them like glowing? I kind of want to do them glowing. I don't know if I'm going to do them conventional. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Like, if you see this image, what is your thoughts? Okay, I'm going to go for um, green ochre. I'll bring you down a little bit. There you go. Alright, is it nice and clear? So we're just going to go for that. Oh no, I'm not. I'm going to just arrange that little tiny, silly little bit that I've got there. Um, it's just in the branch. Uh, so I'm just going to arrange what's on the branch only. Just so I can like see where I'm going. That's it. I don't care about the wings because the wings are supposed to be see-through, right? Um, but not in that. Okay, now I'm going to it. So this is a uh, green ochre. Is it nice and clear in your screens? When I show you this colour, does it focus really well? Okay, so I'm going to go on the underneath of this background and I'm going to blend it into the pan. And I'm just going to kind of just really slowly enjoy this because I really want to do this justice oh I'm so happy it's so clear because I didn't get all my cards out um, because I just was not organized for that part and I thought oh you know fiddlesticks I need to find a way so that you can see it and at least you can see it <laughs> Uh, Julie, your settings might be down. It shouldn't be out of focus. Look at your settings and make sure that you're on the highest quality. Um, because sometimes it's to do with that. I mean, it looks clear on my side. So I'm just going in lightly. Hi, Claire. Yeah, just double check it. Sometimes the settings default it back down. I don't know why it does it, it just does. Um, so if your focus in your screen is all fuzzy, it usually is that that's happened. Claire, my lovely. I'm so loving your converse that you're doing. So obviously everyone knows Claire, you know, <laughs> who doesn't? Um, but Claire's doing the converse. Have you seen her progression on that? On the world within worlds. I am loving it. That was the page that I was going to start with the ladies and gents at some point. Um, but, oh my gosh, you've just knocked it right out of the park. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you did. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're going to go for... Olive green nine one one. I'm just going to mix that in. And if you want to see a great version come to life, go over to Laura. The artist behind it. <laughs> she is doing a watercolour, and then Lisa, bless her heart, is doing a really gorgeous um, pastel brown and oranges uh so yeah do check out the other versions i just had a forest fairy in my head i think because of the roses and the magical surprise of it all and i want to do the wings glowing and yeah i just thought no nope, they're going to be forest fairies glowing wings somehow um and just kind of work with that so i'm going to use a lot of like yellow and I'm just kind of bringing the bottom part a little bit more sort of darker and deeper. Mm. Just kind of 
or do I blend that out a bit? Now remember, when you're doing backgrounds, it's totally optional. I find that, hold on, I've just gone under the skin a little bit. Um, they're not always my favourite. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie there. I, I have a issue with backgrounds. Um, I never know what to do. So for me to start with a background is just crazy. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about fairies. Okay, I always used to say when I was young, I used to believe in them. And I used to think they lived in woods. And it's funny because when I've got older, I said, you know, it'd be cool if they really did exist. And you've got people that do draw fairies a heck of a lot. And Laura's canvases and stuff, she's drawn over the years fairies for years. And um, I think fairies is probably one of your go-tos, Laura, am I right? In terms of your older stuff even is quite magical and foresty and fairy-like. I'm going switching back to 1091. Um, it's, uh, you have been doing quite magical stuff. So, thank you. I just think it's something that's easy and everyone can follow. Let's, you know, let's face it. I just want to deepen the underneath of him, so I am going to like flip between a few colours. Um, I really, there is a stage, hold on, hold on, hold on, just bear with me. Christina, did you go to sleep? Did you manage some sleep? I hope you did. So many of you ladies have been up and with us for so long over the I mean some of you I'm sure haven't even slept I'm like oh my goodness you need some sleep <laughs> you need some sleep okay I'm just looking for a sage green um, or a grey green light or something oh there we go I found it as soon as I said it I found it okay sorry bear with me I was just trying to find something one of my favourites, personally, as well, is mermaids. I think we should all do something mermaid -y soon. Um, I love mermaids. Mermaids are one of my favourite things uh, to look at. I love them to colour. I love them to look at. I just, I love them. I think mermaids are amazing as well. <laughs> at least you got some. Okay, I'm going for um, just a minute. Just make sure I can see that. Oh, focus, focus. Focus. There we go. It's grey green light 289. Okay, and I just want to blend that out a little bit into um, the pan pastels that's already there. If there's any sound issues, picture issues, do not be afraid to scream it out at me. It is a live show, so your feedback and your help is obviously very. Oh my gosh, come on. Hold on guys, it's not focusing. Okay, come on. Focus. Okay, focus, 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 focus. There we go. Um, your feedback is everything. It helps streamers, it helps for future reference, it helps um helps the show go on kind of thing because without it we wouldn't know. So I'm just gonna blend in some more green. So I'm going for Kelly Green, I'm just mixing my greens, which is 1096. I just want to deepen the area underneath. And just, it's going to be the deepest, oh my gosh, focus. <laughs> Let's turn that autofocus off a second. Hold on. It just doesn't want to focus. There we go. Is that doing it now? <laughs> it was having a moment. It was like, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, doesn't want to know me, does it? There we go. Okay. Um, I just want to have the bottom bit as the deepest point in his background. And, uh. bring everything else to life okay i'm gonna do i don't know i'm not gonna go up olive green 911 
and I'm just going to bring that one underneath of the wing a little bit. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, uh, excuse me, I'm trying to just show someone something. <laughs> and it's, yeah, yeah, Laura, it doesn't want to know. But no, no, I am not doing that. Okay, so there's these tiny little circles that Laura has actually drawn in. So I'm just going to semi-circle that and just blend it out a little bit. Um, this will look totally different as we go along. It's just stages and steps. I'm just lightly putting this in. We'll blend it out all after. The point of it is to get the deeps in, the darks in. So I actually want some yellows up here because don't forget our light source is there. So I'm going to go for sand, which is 940. So I'm just going to bring in some of that into the wing a little bit. So I'm just going to go ever so slightly into that wing because I want it to blend a bit. So I'm actually just going to bring a touch because as I said, the um, top part is actually going to be the lightest. So I'm just going to bring a touch in and then we'll, I think I'll work on some of um, the rows and then we're going to go for some of the wings. I mean, as I said, if anything, I showed just how to do a simple pan pastel ray rah, background, you know, and uh, the whole point is that they are the star. Oh my gosh, KP, my, the books that are untouched are unbelievable. And I feel so bad. And I'm like, how do people colour so fast? Um, I'm jealous. Like, how? And then I realised I don't actually sit that much in my free time. You know, like, today, prime example, I've been on the floor. I've been laying down. I've been resting my back. And that could have been, like, colouring time, you know? So I get so jealous. I'm like, how do you do it? I need to get to the... <laughs> I need to do that Disney one I've got that in my next pile I've got like a pile that I want to get to and the Snow White one that KP sent is there um, the oh there's so many um, the Circle Portraits Larry I'm doing I did a pan pastel base on him sorry just for a second so I've just done a base and I've got to do all my work on him but if you're following anything that's just the base on Larry. Uh, it's just pan pastel basing, and then I'm going to do all of the work on him. So that's a lot of work yet to go into. So do join us. It's the steampunk Larry along as well. So as well as there's so many events. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going for yellow ochre 942. Um, there are so many things. So Laura's in the chat. Do check out Laura's images. Check out all the artists. As I said, we're going to do a couple of giveaways in a. Five ten minutes, but if you haven't already gone to the stores, um, do check out all the artists. They are in the description. Let me just pull you up because this is about the artist, not about me. This is Grazia. We got Niana. We've got Jennifer Zimmerman. We've got oh my gosh! I have to look at one second. I have to look at my page. Is it you know? But I can never say it. One minute. One minute. I've written them down. I've been a good girl. Okay, I've got them beside me again. Yen, Jen Ovia Art, that's it. Lisa Matrokin. We've got Emily Illustrator. This one's a freebie. We've got Deborah Muller. We've got Dawn Davidson. We've got Colouring Chicks. We've got Christine Karen. We've got Laura Rafferty. We have Nathaniel Wake, Monia Gates. We have Michelle Keller. We have Lisa again. I'm sorry, I'm just going through. We've got Sarah Richer. We've got Cheryl Lafond, Rain Art. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, can't think. Oh my gosh. Uh, Rain Art. Nelaki Shoemaker. I think that's how you pronounce the name. There are so many. The freebies are in the description. The giveaway pages will be in a minute. And we have so much to get through, it's crazy. So, five minutes and I'll do two giveaways. One back to back. So yeah, lots and lots and lots out there at the moment. 
but um, I'm just doing a little bit of the glow at the top. So I'm going for sand and I'm going for yellow ochre. They're the two colours at the moment. I need the yellow ochre for a minute. So thank you so much to the artists, both for the freebies and for the giveaways. Um, so Lisa's donated one for a giveaway, as has, Yen is it Genovia Art? I don't want to say her name wrong. Um, do definitely check out the ladies there. I've also got Etsy stores. Um, everything is in the description. The schedule for the streamers, big shout out to all the streamers. Um, a big shout out to all of the artists that have done your pages so that you can enjoy them. They are all new and fresh. Definitely check them out. Some artists have done two and three. There is so much. It's insane. I cannot even get it out of my mouth how much there is. This one, they are all heavily discounted. Some are discounted till the end of February for the whole Savory event. Some of them are only discounted for a limited time. So I would get them today, just personally, um, whilst you know that they're discounted. They are definitely discounted until tomorrow, uh, which is both event days. So yeah, definitely go check it out. Switching on over to sand, and I'm just gonna put a little bit more good glow in here and then we're going to do the giveaways and we're going to work on some of the roses and some of that bokka. I'm going to sort of just go a little bit all over so that you get an idea of which direction I'm going in but it's going to be like forest and it's going to be kind of brought out and I'm going to bring some more sort of like rays of light coming down like with my yellow but we build up. It's better to go in small than go in full force and regret it so I'm definitely going in small first and then I'll build up with the exact same colors as what we started with is the chat okay just I just don't want to miss anything out oh hi Connie sorry I didn't see you up there welcome I'm so sorry I know I've missed a few of you Hi Michelle, you're here as well. <laughs> so Michelle is here too. She's also done some. There are so many artists involved. So big shout out to them all ladies and gents. It is such an amazing array of art. There's so many styles. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring some of that into um, his wings. Hers as well. Let's bring a little bit in there. So I'm just going to go. I know there's so much gorgeousness going on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Got my yellow ochre. Try uh, the sound on YouTube. Um, if it's playing up. Some, if everyone's got sound issues, that's me. Um, but are we ready to herd cat people? <laughs> okay, so we've got this down here as well. Are we ready? Okay, I'm going to work on some of these in a moment. So we just got a base going. I'm really digging like where I'm going to go with this. I can see it in my head, that's why. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? So we're going to do two back to back. Let me grab them. We've got some images to give away. They are PDFs. I will send them out to you. So first off... <coughs> Let me get them. Okay, first off we have Lisa Matrokin. So I'm gonna do two back to back and I'll say the rules before I do it. Are you all ready? So, okay. So they're two. And then the second one's gonna be for Genovia Art. But we're going to do Lisa first. So this is the um, fairy that she's drawn for the giveaway. She has done a full version of this, which I'll show you. And that is on her Etsy store. Um, so definitely go check out all the artists. But we're going to do this first. So are we ready? Are my mods ready? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just said I hate giving anyone any work. I'm like, come on. <laughs> I really don't want to give you some work. Hi Shalene, it's so good to see you. Hi Patty, I didn't say hello to you. I'm so sorry, I'm just seeing your names now. It's, I've been in a, a, just a fog. Okay, 
So the rules are, pick a number from 1 to 100. Please only pick one number per person. Hi Debbie. Um, the first person that is closest to the number picked by random.org is the winner without going over. So you have to be the first person without going over. This is obviously open to anyone. It is going to be emailed to you. Lisa's given the rights for that. I will be the person responsible to get it out to you. So my email address will also be put into the chat. This is a live giveaway. So if you're watching this back, it does not count. It's just for a live one. So are we ready? Remember one to 100, one number, anyone that pulls their number back, anyone that puts one number in, in and then wants to put another one in will be disqualified please refrain from talking whilst the giveaway is being called out with numbers it just helps the mods when they go back and gets the winner so are we ready when i type go 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 that is when the numbers are called when i type stop 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 no further numbers will be counted okay on your mark get set go One number, otherwise you're just going to be disqualified. <laughs> One number. Okay. Let me get the random.org up. Hello, Debbie. Let's just say hello to everyone. Okay, this one, I'm doing the giveaway first. Come on, come on, mummy's lap. Come on. <laughs> Hi. Okay, I'll give it another 30 seconds. And then, um... Hi. Here's a book for you. Yeah. Oh, you know mummy's doing giveaway. She's doing a book for me, she is. Sorry, I've got a chip on my lap. Okay. Another 15... Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, are we ready for the winner? Good luck. <laughs> Sorry, I got I'm trying to do this with a dog on my lap, which is not quite working out, but there we go. Okay, can we see the phone? Okay, right, we ready? Okay, <laughs> number 94, 94, so we've got to go back. So number 94. Okay, we've got Pat with 83, Helen with 93. Wow, Helen, you were close. 93, Helen. Anyone on the number? I think I've got Helen. Helen Evans? Yeah, Helen. Helen, my email is congratulations, colour and chat with Sammy at outlook.com. Email me a 
and I will send you that. Congratulations, Helen. So we're going to do the other one. I'm so sorry. Look, I've got a dog on my lap. I will get this one out to you. So I'm just going to write your name on the back so I know that you won. Helen Evans. So thank you so much, Lisa, if you're still here, for that. That was for Helen. And next one up is by Genovia Art. Hurrah! <laughs> okay, next one is this little cutie patootie. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. Let me just bring you up even more. Look at her with her little tiny shoes. Look at the shoes. <laughs> Look at those feet. Okay, it is super cute. So if you're into the cutesy stuff, this is a cutie pie. So the same rules apply. And it's going to be the same length of time, about two minutes. So are we ready to go again? Because we're going to just do them both together because time does fly and um, rather than space them out, I'll do them both together. So are we ready to go again? So the same rules apply. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. You mods are great. Okay, are we ready? On your marks, let's go again. So remember when I type go, 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 numbers will start to fly. Helen, I've just seen your email. Once I'm done, hon, I'll send it over. So get your numbers in. It's for this little cutie here. <laughs> and I will email you that. So whoever wins will get this email to them. <laughs> You're so cute. Look, what is going on? You always get my attention, don't you? Your mum is seeing me. And she's really, really good on me. And it doesn't include any chihuahua, okay? It doesn't include a chihuahua, even though you would love it to. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, you've got about another 45 seconds. Hi. Get your numbers in. <laughs> Okay, button on 30. I'm going to do the 10 second countdown thing. Go on, look up. Go on. Go on, baby. Go on. Go on the bed. Good boy. Oh my goodness. Okay. 15. <laughs> I love, love, love the fact that these are going to get coloured. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay, again, I'm going to just go through. Oh, Louise, Louise, I was just off. I'm so sorry, there is a lag. I'm so, so sorry. I know there's a lag. I know there is. It, it drives me absolutely insane. Okay, so we're just going to um, do it again. One to one hundred. Can you see that nice and clear? And 89. Well, gosh, we're up in the top ones <laughs> this time. 89. Who was nearest to 89? Okay, let's go up, up, up. 84 was Sherry. Without going over. 84 was Sherry. I've got my end, Sherry and Lee, am I right? I have to wait for a couple of confirmations. 89. 89 and... Yeah, Sherry, 84, I thought so. Okay, Sherry, same rule, hun. Just give me an email at... Colour and chat. 
congratulations and thank you to both of the wonderful artists who won both PDFs um, that was very kind of them to give them for free and remember there also is two freebies so come and chat with Sammy at Outlook.com give me an email and I'll get that sent out to you as soon as possible so I'm just going to put your name on the back as well just so I know no that's not you Chip you're not a winner so congratulations to both Helen, I got your email, so I will email you when the stream is over. We've got, I was originally just doing a two hour slot. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit longer because there was an hour extra. So, hi you da, how are you? <laughs> it's so good to see you, okay. So we're gonna go back to this little couple here. And I'm actually gonna work on a little bit on the roses in a minute. So this is just your colour palette testing, you know, how you do. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to get now. What I said earlier was I've got some, like, inspiration colour palettes, which are really, really good. So I'm kind of going for these types here. The colour palette is, again, let me just make sure you're getting the right colour. Okay, that's, that's right. There we go. There we go. Sometimes the colours need a little bit of adjustment. Right, there we go, that's better. It's like, hold on a minute, why is the colours not showing? <laughs> they are now. Okay, perfect. Hi everyone coming on in. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, so what we're doing today, if you're just joining us, we are doing the February event, which is a big event organised by Shelley and Belinda. There is lots of artists involved. Do check them out in the description. There are so many. I've just seen a lot of you coming in that are just joining us. Um, so there are lots and lots of images available at this moment in time, discounted. Um, and you can grab them today, tomorrow, for sure, at a discounted price. We've just started on this background, which is very basic at the moment. We're going to build up on it. We can come back to our pans if need be. But we're just going to have a little play around, um, which is a nice thing to be able to do as well. What you also can do, because you've put pans down, is just get an eraser. So we're using the um, Perfection. Come on. There we go. And we're going to have this now, aren't we? <laughs> uh oh my goodness come on hello so just give me a minute guys because this just tends to there we go um this is not blended yet so you can also just with your eraser just very lightly erase little tiny dots but we can do a mixture of little white ones um, and we can do a mixture of coloured in ones like we've got around but we need to build on it a little bit more so yeah it is so much fun so do give a huge huge shout out to everyone that's actually been involved and to everyone that's joined you guys because without you we wouldn't be having the streams as they are it would be a little bit more quiet because we'd be talking to ourselves so you know you make the streams what they are without you it would be a little bit quiet <laughs> so you know without like the audience there isn't a stream so it's, not, it's everyone i think it's a collective event right a very collective event okay so i've just grabbed out of my pencil case some Deco Yellow, these are really cool, and some Pale Sage. So we're going to play with those as well, just because I need to blend them out what's here. So I'm going to grab my Pale Sage first. Oh, hi Donna! <laughs> the fibs, yes, the friends. The friends in the box. They are the best. <laughs> hi Michelle, hi everyone coming on in, oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to do it from here. I hope you can see it. This is Deco Yellow and this is 1011. 
Um, again, I'm just going to make this into the wings a little bit because I really want the wings to glow. So I'm just going to kind of blend that into those colours that we had. Just a little and then when you, I think I'm going to work on the roses because I can tell that I'm not going to have bucket loads of time. Um, I think a lot of us are going to start these and have to finish them off streams. I will be back um, on Tuesday hopefully. I'm hoping and we will be doing a Kirby so stay with me and I'm gonna try and get myself into some routine again because everything was kind of upside down as you know so this was actually a really good way of getting me out of a slump <laughs> so thank you <laughs> thanks Shelley um it will get me out of a slump oh thank you yeah Thumbs up are so, so kind of you. It just shows a bit of appreciation and that's really sweet of you. Thanks so much. So I'm just lightly putting this into his wings. I don't want masses of it because I'm going to I'm gonna work with it. And we're going to have a pasta pen and I'm going to work on this like off stream. Do follow, I think, Lisa, are you doing a series? Um, and Laura, are you following on with yours as well? Yes, Kirby, Becky. <laughs> I promised, didn't I? I promised the other day. I said we'll be doing a Kirby on the channel. It might be a few. <laughs> it might be a few. I have actually finished the grants we are to upload as well. Oh my goodness, you know. But we're here for February today. So I won't talk about that too much. I'll talk about that Tuesday. We've got some stuff to show as well. So do stay tuned. And thank you so much to everyone that has recently subscribed. Um, it's jumped up significantly and I'm quite overwhelmed. So thank you. Is it Arnia, Debbie? What a lovely name. Mmm. Hi, Mary. I haven't seen you for a long time. Hi everyone coming in, welcome. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to uh, my pal stage, one zero. It's so good to see faces that I've not seen for a while. And for those of you that are watching this, that, you know, haven't been around for a little while, I hope you're all doing well as well. Because you know, we are friends, we all are friends. We've known each other a long time, you know, two and a half years is a long time, week in, week out, and we all care about each other, so it's good to see. Oh, <laughs> Donna, you're so cute. <laughs> okay, I'm just popping that in. As I said, it's expression with colour. There's no right or wrong. Your page is your page. So if you've got some colour ideas, put them down. Put them on the page. Play with them. I don't think there's any wrong in what you're doing, um, as long as you're doing something enjoyable for you. As I said, his wings are going to be transparent. Anya. Anya. Oh, how lovely. Anya. Okay, cream 914. Just going to blend that out a little bit. And we're going to have really soft pink roses, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, because the rest of it's going to be foresty and then you've got these really soft pink roses in that mist of it all so yeah it's going to be pretty cool I'm going to build on it and build on it and build on it and I think I know layers is the key with um, how my finished result in my head is going to look so yeah I'm just going to like build on stuff and work with it but Definitely, and every streamer has bought something so unique. Oh my goodness, so unique! I've been mesmerized. Um, we've had ATC cards, and we've had pastels, and we've had feathers, we've had um, bokeh backgrounds, we've had so much. Just it, it's such an amazing. Ah, oh, thank you, Michelle. Um, Celadon, Celadon Green? Yeah. Everyone knows that I butcher my names. It just happens. <laughs> um, we've had so much. So, 
yeah thank you so much for quite inspirational streams to listen to and watch and fun and a big 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 shout out to um laura for this image as well because it's her love story so it's not just it's a personal journey this one but yep if you are not familiar with the favorite yet because you've not been around check the description of the video and you will find the links to all the artist stores so i'm just playing with greens right these little circles i'm just going to very lightly blend the edge okay just sort of like heighten that a little bit same with this one and congratulations lisa i saw that you're at a thousand you hit a thousand Oh, thank you. I just thought I wanted something quite natural. And um, as I said, if you ever get stuck, also there is Sarah Renee Clark. She does the colour catalogue. So that's another place you can go for inspiration for colour palettes. And um, that's pretty cool. I really like that. So as I said, with pastels, there is room for error. There really is. So you can really play with the colours and I could come in again so I really want dark and light and remember my lightest lightest point is up here so just play with the color and the contrast my darkest point is down there the Sun's beaming this way I really want the sort of rays to hit this side mmm there's so many I mean we've grown so much as a community um, I remember even like when I started streaming, there was colorists, but not so many live streamers at all. I think it was just a couple of us. And over the last two and a half years, it's just grown and grown and grown. And with that, more talents come in, more um, people with the most incredible skills have come along. So we've got so much to kind of get our teeth into now. And I, you know, I've said it for a long time, check color tube out have a look because there's something for everyone the, I get it the live streams aren't for everyone but there are lots of channels that do edited videos there's lots of channels which do tutorials there's lots of channels that just do color and chats there is a catered channel I think for everybody that is interested obviously so definitely check out lots and lots of people Throw your hearts up in the chat if you have a channel. People can come check you out. If they're new, you know, just throw them up. Throw them up. Donna, I just thought about colour pan. I just knew with this one. And I also print myself out some inspirations. So I'm going to deepen and go a little bit like more towards these kinds of colours. So just kind of, you know, just throw colour on a page and see what happens. <laughs> So throw your hearts up guys if you have channels, throw your thumbs up if you've got Etsy stores, throw them in, I don't mind. Share away. I think this weekend is all about that. It's, you're making new friends, you're making new, um, you know, foundations and possibly, you know, building something that's actually pretty cool for yourself. <laughs> throw them up. Okay, these are going to be outlined in white. So I'm going to just come to this at the minute. So when I was thinking about the rose, I was thinking about really soft colours. Because in contrast, when I did this, look. Can you see, if I put that in, what a pop of colour, but so subtle, it's going to be? So beautiful right so this is actually pink rose and I also picked out some peach and stuff to go in with that and what is a nice color to put with that is clay rose to deepen 
So can you see how beautiful those colours will go? So we're going to use that and it kind of matches my mug. I need to have another cup of tea that kind of matches the mug. Really, really, really love that mug. It was brand new yesterday. So we're going to go first off for this beautiful pink. Mm, doesn't it really look good against the green? So I've still got to work on the background quite a lot. <laughs> I've still got to work a lot on that part. But, you know, we'll get there. We'll do bit by bit. So I'm just putting that there so I don't smudge too much. Um, I'm not worried about smudging at the bottom because I can erase and fixative that. I won't fixative today because I've still got to work on top of it. Make sure that you've erased all the pigment from the robe. And... Um, I just really, really, really liking the soft pinks. So we're going to go for... No, no, there isn't. Um, I just kind of have like a colour palette in my brain, but you can check it out on Google. And there's also the app or the PDF that you can buy is Sarah Renee Clark's um, colour catalogue. Okay, so this is... Oh, this is going to make it go funny. Pink rose... Um, 1018 okay so I'm very lightly going to start to place in this beautiful colour I might bring it down a little bit more there we go so it's so nice and soft and subtle against those greens I think it's just going to look so magic magical and on the very edges I'm just going to put a hint of like a glow we might glitter them I'm not sure yet that will come to me as time goes on so just slightly sort of putting in this soft pink and to um, shade into it it's going to be play rose so as I'm coming out I'm kind of just letting the pressure off my pencil we're going to just build that up oh thank you yeah the colour go for it do you know what this is why I do the strings. If you find a colour inspiration, a colour combination, anything that might call you from what I've done, take it away and try it. Like, people say to me, do I have to? No, don't tag me. Just do it. And I just want to show you, like, this is Clay Rose. Um, this is 1017. And when you're coming into the deepest areas, Instead of going with like bright pinks, this one's really, really nice. It'll kind of dull it down a bit. Um, so just sort of placing that in. Um, you can kind of, I'm going to go slowly just because I don't want to mess it up and I really do want to put my sort of attention into this. And usually with streams, I have to just speed my fingers up a bit. But I'm never going to in a month of Sundays to do this and finish it today. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> but if anything, you've taken away the colour combination, you've taken away like how to do a simple sort of background that it doesn't have to be all over the page kind of thing. So I'm just planting in a bit of the clay rose. And that's another thing, you know, when you're looking at where to put your shadows in your light with grayscale, and this is the grayscale version, this all is available in life line art yeah and it's available in a light line art a dark line art a light grayscale and a dark grayscale so there is quite a few options depending on taste um, I'm going back to my um, pink rose so just sort of like go between the two um, you with grayscale it's kind of giving you an indication actually giving you some there Oh, come on. Focus. Let it focus. Focus, focus, focus. Focus, focus. There we go. <laughs> you didn't want to. <laughs> I'm like, come on. Stop it. <laughs> um. So, yeah. Definitely sort of play around the colour. And... Yeah, the good thing with PDFs, you can kind of, you can print off of things. 
if it doesn't go right the first time it doesn't matter i'm just going to come in with sand um which is 940 this is the old prisma color by the way so you're probably thinking why does it look so different and i'm just going to go around the edge just because um you know it is sort of surrounded by forest but not much you've got a hint of it and you can see it okay and then if you really wanted to deepen the next color that you could go in with would be tuscan red but just slightly so say you're on that corner let me show you on my scrap you can if you needed to deepen that bit you can deepen it with a bit of tuscan red but just very 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 lightly so that's just very much in the sort of crevice of it all like literally so i'm just concentrating and it really doesn't need to be much because don't forget it's meant to be soft so just sort of mix between the three so tuscan red clay rose and pink rose these are the three colors that i sort of put together um but i really want these to be soft that's the whole point so that's just the color combination that i picked for this and do you see what i mean against everything else it'll really be quite a soft idea yeah it's going to be like a i don't know it just works for me it works for me so they're three colours that you can kind of mix together and try out. Anyone tried that combo? I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so with regards to this petal coming on the underneath, you can come to your clay rose first. So I'm just trying to plant that in first. Again, I'm going to bring... When you look at a petal as well, they sometimes have these tiny little veins in them. So just with my clay rose, I'm just putting a couple in. You can't see that very deep, but I can. <laughs> so, you know, just look at petals. They are very, very delicate on roses. So I'm just going to put a few bits of clay rose. And we'll put it on this bit as well. We might as well just go for the whole go for the whole hog as they say go full hog so again we've got some there just kind of place where you want your darker and then again with the underneath of this petal and in a few minutes for those that are joining i will quickly show you the thumbnails of the images provided by the artists that are all on sale um so i'll just recap for those of you that have been here i'm sorry but you know the artists have done them all and really really need to promote them so you know spent all that time drawing them and i know from laura she spends like 60 odd hours on one so i definitely feel that they need promoting <laughs> Oh my goodness, so many hours go into these drawings and so much love. So, you know, definitely go check them out and just support the artist. You know, if you find something that you like in those pages, one page that you buy is another step towards supporting because a lot of them are independent and they really do rely on you buying their pages. no yeah they're all in the description and the schedule for the streamers as well so everything is in the description below literally everything <laughs> so the schedule um is also for tomorrow so we've got quite a lot i have missed a few because they do run into my night and um i know in your time differences are, are a shame because i missed them but that is the schedule sorry i was just having a look for it that is a schedule so there is more streams to come and you can just come in join the ones that you can you know 
we've all got families and stuff as well. <laughs> it does. And, you know, that's what I say. It's one step to supporting artists. And Laura can vouch for that. Lisa can vouch for that. Jennifer Zimmerman, all of you. When you buy something, you're buying a piece of them as well and you're buying a piece of something that they've spent hours creating and it's satisfying for them to see you bring them to life and I think that is just that's the best thing so even if you don't get round to them for now buy them whilst you can and they're there and then one day you can flick through all your PDFs and then you think oh I fancy that one and out it comes and then you do it so I 100% say, even if you don't want them right this minute, but you know that you like them, if you can, I'm not saying go, you know, go mad and spend all your money, but if you can, definitely go and support some that you like in terms of your style. Um, you know, it's really, really nice of you to do so. Take care. Hiya, anyone coming in? And bye-bye to anyone that's going. <laughs> Hi, Romy. Is it Romy? Okay, so, Romy, we are doing Laura today on stream. And um, you also can catch Lisa doing Laura. I think Lisa's going to finish her. Yes, KP, go use it. I love clay rose. Clay rose is a wonderful colour. I know Honor uses clay rose a heck of a lot as well. Clay rose, uh, it goes so well with Tuscan red as well. <laughs> so if you've got Tuscan red and you've got clay rose and you've got pink, a light like pink, they go so well together. Hey, there's Jennifer. Yes. So go support them. Jennifer, oh my goodness. Your artwork recently, you and Laura, ah, you just, um, I missed you. <laughs> I missed you. Lisa, you've done, um, you've, I don't know, you've got such a unique style. It's stunning. Jennifer was off the scene for so long. Laura's just turned now to grayscale as well. It's like everyone's flourishing in my eyes. <laughs> it's like everyone's just come to, like, just taken this complete different journey. And it's like, I'm loving watching it. Oh my goodness. And then Jennifer has also got her secrets of colouring. Um, so you can buy those. I love them. We did on the channel The Glowing Mushy. And last night, Jennifer did a bokka and it was just mesmerizing because she uses neons which are something I don't use and I oh my god you artists you inspire me so much I am just in awe and I'm so so honored to be able to color your work oh it so was I know right it was oh it's the portrait we'll be heading to the shop <laughs> oh Jennifer stream last night I was in bed and um, I just stuck it on and just I was glued and that's why I didn't talk much because I was just so glued to the background and the hair I can't wait to see more can you see how beautiful that is going to be once it's all done okay so I'm going to come over to my um, my pink rose. Yeah, oh my goodness. When you agreed to do the steampunk, Jennifer, and you said that, you know, you wasn't quite sure because you haven't been inspired for so long. And I just thought, we miss you. <laughs> come back. <laughs> so you did. Uh Okay, that's okay, Deb. Thanks for coming in and go take care of little Isabel, bless her. Um, 
yeah it's funny um and she was like i'm not sure and i was like mac <laughs> but yeah definitely artists are important colorists are important artists are important it is such an amazing journey i think over the last couple of years okay so we're definitely going to have a really let me just come up a little bit so at the moment <clears throat> we've got all these um greens and pinks sort of matching and merging this is just the start as anyone knows uh, it takes a little bit of time especially with pencil work watercolors and painting is probably a lot quicker uh, you can actually do this with watercolors if you really wanted to um, it would actually look really beautiful watercolors especially all the greens I just personally wanted to do the pastels and it will build up and you know I'll finish and show the complete result on Instagram so definitely check that out when it's done <laughs> I know it does it's just so it's because it's a love story it's a love story. I will be heading shortly when I've done these. I've got a few of your amazing drawings. And let me just show you, obviously, because there are new people coming in. And I really want to show you what there is on offer. So Laura is a dream and printed them out for me to me. No, I'm not printed, she sorted them out and I printed them off. <laughs> so, artist wise, <clears throat> these are all the incredible, they're all in the description below. So, these are smaller versions. Jennifer's are there as well. So, we've got Yana, we've got Jennifer, we've got Lisa, Genovia, Grazia. We have Emily Illustrator from the Little Mushroom House and the Fairy. This one is free. We've got Deborah Muller, Dawn Davidson, Christine Karen. She's made also into a little card. That is Laura and Colour and Chicks. So just showing you again because that's you know that's why we're here to have all these amazing images offered. Nathaniel Wake, Monia Gates. Monia's got three. Um, Michelle, you're here. <laughs> Michelle's here. Uh, she's got three as well. This one, this one, and this one. Uh, Lisa's other two. Now, we have the giveaway, didn't we, of this one here. Now, this is the other version. So, you can also go to the shop and buy the full version, which is this. And it's got a stained glass behind it. So... Cheryl Lafond. So some of these artists you would not have probably known about before, and now you've got the you know the knowledge of them being around. Sarah Richer, Rain Art. Heather is actually doing this one, the Circus Rain Art. I think I'm pretty sure it was that one. Yeah, it was. And then we've got Nathaniel Wake here at the bottom, and Nella Keish. Is it Shoemaker? I don't want to say her name wrong. So lots and lots. And then you've got two free images also, and bless their hearts for offering that. Nathaniel Wake has offered you a freebie, as has Emily Illustrator. So this is free, it's in the description. And this is free. So there is two completely free images for you to dig into. One male, one female. Pretty cool, right? And then you can go to the shops. <laughs> go shopping. Pat, just go with it. I say this to everyone. I was having it. Laura has been my saviour today, as was Ray. I was just so nervous myself today. And I don't know why I was having a bit of a like a... <gasps> okay. Back to my pink rose. So who has actually bought some of the images? You don't have to say who, but just say, yep, yeah, bought them. Bought some. Anyone colouring any of them? Which images are you currently colouring? 
anyone dug into the fairy realm. And another, sorry, I'm sidetracking one more time. Another thing that I said, what I do also is just print off some inspiration pictures like this. Because we're going to kind of go for a bit more glowing. Um, and you can get some inspiration from these pictures as well. So definitely look at some wings. Have a look at some wings. You got a bunch. <laughs> you bought some. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Yes, and don't forget, these fairies, quite a few of them represent love. And we've got Valentine's Day coming up. So it coincides with it. So you got both fairy throughout, or it's February, fairies throughout the entire month. You've also got the um, Valentine's Day theme. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I'm so happy. Go support the artists. They're, they're the pinnacle as well. Yeah. I mean, they're such discounted. At, I mean, for me, they're so, anyway, without the discounts, they're just so worth the prices. So go check them out. And while I was in Munya's as well, I kind of bought her last PDF pack. That is Laura's fault. <laughs> the one with the dragon lady. So, oh my gosh, I just, Etsy is a weakness for me. It needs a caution. I see something an artist has done, whether it be an art print. Um, and I'm like, ooh, it's like a mochi flame. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Oh, nice, Pamela. Hiya. <laughs> so, hi, Mr. Everyone. Oh, my gosh, I need a drink so bad. I've still got a little while to go. Um, I'm going to run till half past six, and I'm going to leave, like, a little break in between me and then I think Vicky's next, isn't she? Please correct me if I'm wrong. Let me look on the schedule. Uh, no. No, no, Shalene is next. Is that right, Shalene? Shalene, are you up after me, hon? You're on my time, 7 o'clock, is that right? Yeah. Shalene, the colouring book nook, is after me. Um, so, between me and Shalene, who I'm quite excited, I've not been in the Shalene stream for so long. You're on earlier for me, Shalene. <laughs> You've come early especially for me. No, you haven't, but you know. You're usually quite late, and I'm so fast asleep these days. I used to be a night owl, and I'm so not anymore. So, Shalene, the colouring book nook, is up after me. So, she's on at, in an hour's time. So, if I give us a half an hour break in between, that is just genuinely so people can go eat, get a drink, walk dogs, <laughs> get what you need done so that, you know, you have a little time because they are back to back. And even 20 minutes. Yeah, Shaleen. Um, 160 gram paper uh, card. Like, it's a thick card. It's a, uh, I don't know if you can hear that, it's 160 gram and I use it pretty much, it's matte, it's got a tiny little bit of tooth Leslie but not too much, um, I'll stick the link for it in my, so you just know what kind of card to head to, um, I'll stick all the materials that we've used after the stream in the description um, and I'll put the card that I use so you can just have a check out of that. There is ones, obviously, in Australia that will be the same. I think the Nina plastic is very similar. Um, so it's kind of the same as that. Just, yeah. 160 gram. Thank you so much, Laura. Ah, Donna, yay. Thanks for supporting, Laura. Thanks for supporting the artists, everyone. Okay, I'm coming back. Cause as I said, it's going to be a nice soft pink rose. Um, I'm going to bring you down just a touch. 
Uh, this is back to um, Clay Rose 1017. So just layer it up. And as I said, in the deepest parts, we're going to put Tuscan Red. I just want it to be nice and soft. Just small amounts, just nice and slow wins the race. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, it's so exciting. And don't forget to remember to check out shortly. Um, Jennifer Zimmerman is also doing her, Del is it Delphine, in a portrait form. Yes, Michelle. And well done for three images, girl. That's a lot. Seriously, you, you all exceeded, like, everything. So, Shelley, organiser. <laughs> Thank you for asking all these wonderful artists. Um, so much choice. I love me, me artists. <laughs> okay. See, just deepening up as I go along. You know, just like a slow process. But you can see where I'm going with the colours, right? Just, I love them. You can kind of just play around, and as I said, if you want that colour combination, it is Clay Rose, Pink Rose, and Tuscan Red. They just work, in my opinion. Because if I put another pink on top, that other pink would go too pinky, if that makes sense. So, let me show you. Right, this is my tester page. If I did pink, right, this is my... This is my pink rose. Say I went with, hmm, let's find another pink. Say I went with um, them pink. This is going to take it in a very pinky direction, like that's going to be a bit too bright. Um, and say then you went in with a deeper pink when you went for like processed red. You see what I mean? It's going to be more scaling on the fuchsia, different pinks. If you then want to tone it down and make it a little more neutral natural more like a rose these tones just work they tone it down rather than making it like bright if you want to go on the side of bright you know do but if you wanted to tone it down you see the direction that that goes in as opposed it's like bright against neutral toning down so this one would be like pink pink rose and process red this one is Tuscan red clay rose and pink rose so there's two you can warm something down and it can make it a little bit more warming and a little bit more of a I don't know it's just I really am drawn to this color combination more so I just think this is all nice when you're doing a really bright and bold picture this is more like if you were to buy a bunch of roses you'd probably find this tone a little bit more than this tone this is more orchids, this is more roses, if that makes sense. I kind of, I don't know, like, my mind goes here more. <laughs> so, that, just, I could see that colour combination more in this. And, um, they will glow, they will be your sort of pink point, and everything else will be the foresty colours. So, like, we're going to look at... Oh, hold on. These sort of wing colours along with these tones in the background, right? So we're gonna kind of go, can you see where I'm going with it side by side? I just think it looks really nice on the eye. What's the yellows that I'm using? I've used a mixture. So we've put a little bit of a pan down. We're also using jasmine, sand, cream, and yellow ochre. If I can find it. It's done a runner. Where's my yellow? Oh, there it is. So we're using these, no, <laughs> we'll find it in a minute. <laughs> okay, so like these types of, can you see against like these? It kind of just works. I don't know. What do you think? So just picking colours. I know a lot of people say oh, it's really, really hard. Um, I agree. I don't disagree at all. It can be hard. It is the first point of call that can be hard on planning. So, try some colour combination palettes 
and have a look. They are easily accessible. They are easily, you can find anything online now. Just type in like forest combinations or galaxy combinations or wing colour ideas and you will find tons. Pinterest, Pixabay, Google, have a look. Get a Word document, put them all in there, resize them, you've got some help. And it just it just works, like, personally for me. I just think it's, that's a visual go-to then, isn't it? It's like, automatically, you have something there in front of you that is going to draw you in. So, that would be my tip on that. It would just be, like, a really good tip to sort of, like, go. Okay, I'm just still using my pink rose. Oh, thank you. Well, as I said, everything is accessible these days. Uh, we're so lucky and fortunate now. You don't have to buy a big whopper of books. <laughs> you can just go online and you can find a lot of this stuff online. Um, you can look around you. Like, m Mum will tell you. I don't know if she's here. Um, but we came back yesterday and on our way home, we looked out of the car and we just looked out into like this really amazing green scenery of countryside. And because I'm not that far from that type of road, like the country roads. And it was just a perfect moment to capture and I couldn't because, you know, we were driving. But it's such an amazing thing. Um, just clay rose again. I'm just going to take this away so you've seen it now. Um, it's such an amazing thing. You've got it all around you. So sometimes just take a picture and print it out. Put it on your computer, resize it, print it out. If you see something on your journeys and you think that looks incredible, just in that moment, we've all got, near. well, nearly everyone's got a phone with a camera, just take a picture of it. Or store it in your mind and think, okay, I'll, I'll go, when I go past that point again, I'll have a look. You can get Pinterest, yeah, you can have a look on Pinterest. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, you can go to the stores and get paint sample books. That's another, that's an amazing idea actually, Shannon, that's a good tip. So if you're stuck with colour combinations, go get some samples. You can get a little booklets out of the shop, DIY stores. Um, there's so many things, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. As I said, it takes some time, but we'll get there, and it will. It will look um, it will look good by the end, hopefully, <laughs> as long as I keep on track. <laughs> yeah, I really like. I'm digging the pink against the greens. Actually, I think it will um stand out. See, I originally you're going for my, some of my favourite colours. Anna said that as soon as she saw yours, Lisa. It's the types of colours that I usually always go for is like ochres, um. But I just love natural colours, like nature colours draw me in, natural inspiring colours. Some people like bright, some people like sparkles, hmm, I wonder who that is. <laughs> um, some people like nature colours, some people are drawn to blues, I know there's a lot of people that seem to use blues in the community. There are so many inspirations. Oh my gosh, you could go on forever. This is one topic that you could literally just carry babbling on about. Oh, thank you, Louise. But yeah, so definitely, this is nowhere near done. Um, I'm just getting it down. I might just quickly just start on a wing for you, but I was just giving you the combination. So you've followed me so far. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, you followed me so far on what I did a simple background. You followed me on a colour combination. We need to um, have a go at some wings, but have I got the time? Yeah, I have got the time. Okay, so just gonna. Um, you know, in roses, they've got these slight tiny rings. Not many, just small little. Okay, so, so I'm gonna come back to um, pink rose, and you just. Deepest points are going to be tossed in red, by the way. Um, 
I'm going to see if I can get some like wing done with you. This one. This one's got to have a lot of light source coming in. Take care, Louise. Thanks for coming in, honey. Have a good evening. Hopefully see you around at someone else's as well. Okay. So we're just going to place a little bit more of the lightest colour. Let me just have a sip of that because my mouth is like, crap. Thank you, Laura. Hopefully I'll do it justice because it's Mark Law, the Mark Law team. We need to like, it needs a really romantic name. Like, you know, me or more or something. So, Malaw, like M-A-L-A-U. Malur. Sound that sounds romantic. Malur. It's like Mark and Laura combined. That's what it's going to be called. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay. Tuscan red for a second. Uh, that's going to just go with my deep points. Just for a sec. And uh, I need to blend that all out. I'm just um just placing in where I want that to go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a what on my audio. <laughs> Is there a like something wrong with the I'll have to sort it out after. I'm I'm not far through finishing. Okay. Honestly, these I'm so l new to learning OBS. I'm I haven't learned it. I've just more or less just learned how to just stream, go and stream. I need to really learn the ins and outs of it all. That was one of my tasks for this month is learn OBS and how to put screens and stuff in and videos and yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna get on that like I just have not been myself for a long time but I think I've got out of that fog <laughs> so I'm gonna try so hard um to learn all this it's so technical okay just for a minute before I come back to that it's okay yeah I think it's in and out Oh my goodness, Lisa, honestly, I, I'm, I honestly don't, I don't even know, like, how to get around that. I'm like, how does that work? <laughs> oh, okay, an echo. Yeah, I'll have to try and sort all that out. I'm really just learning everything at the moment. Okay, okay, perfect. So, I'm going to look at these for a minute before I, you know, just sort of tidy up the wings uh the rose so with the wings i was looking at these colors um oh well, there you are <laughs> i was just trying to find you so they've got some like yellows some greens and these like ochre orangey type of colors um so you've got the colors down the side which is a good thing um what kind of paper Tanny, I'm going to put it in the description after the stream. It is 160 gram matte craft card. It's really quite, um, it's quite, I've always thought it's a really sturdy, just cheap craft card that I've always used. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, I've always used it. Uh, as I said, after the, the stream, I literally will stick the colours I've used and the materials I've used and everything in the description but it's just if you've got Nina classic it's practically that it just is a cheaper version oh me either I mean any I couldn't even ask Andrew because he doesn't even know anything about computers bless him he just he asked me everything so it's you know between the two of us we'd, we'd be a right pair me and Andrew um but you know as long as I can stream and you can all hear me and I can teach what I do know. The thing is, I, I'm not an artist. I say this, people are like, oh, you know, how do I do something? I'm like, I'm not an artist. 
Um, I'm just a colorist, and I'm here to help like newbies more um, of things that I just, you know, we do color around. We have fun. We have fun. We've been having fun for a few years, and don't get me wrong, there's still times where I'm seriously like, can I do this? Is this possible? But somehow I manage it, and I don't know how. I think, how have I just done that? Now, it's been a journey, and it's been an incredible one. I'm just trying to find some colours. I really like um, pumpkin orange. I think I'm going to bring a little tiny bit of that in. But I'm quite digging, like, the burnt ochres. So I'm going to go for something around those lines. Sorry about the... Do you like the noise of that? I like the noise of that. Whoops! Sorry. <laughs> oh, my goodness! Oh, I keep doing that. Okay. So just to show you on the sort of way I'm going with these... I think I'm going to come in with some chestnut and some burnt ochre. If I can find it. Yeah, I can find it. Chestnut, burnt ochre, and we need a yellowish colour. So we're going to come with these. Um, whoops. Oh, you're so funny. Yes, I'm not. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Um, but I just you know, colouring channels are really good, especially for newbies, um, more so. Okay, and if we can inspire each other, then, you know, we would. Feel better, Lulu. Okay, I'm going to go for burnt ochre originally, and, like, Laura, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. So, Laura's put this little dainty pattern within the wings, so I'm going to try and keep with some of that. Now, they are going to be quite see-through, so when we work on the background a little bit more, you might see that. So, the braids of light will come down. We'll work on some more of the green green, so I've still got to bring my apple green in, and um, I'm not sure about the other ones. I might bring some more of a lighter green in, but we'll work along that line as I go along anyway. So, if you're going to do something along these lines, you can bring in a little bit more of a light source, and... You can also like play around with your lighting anyway. So he's, I am going to make them glow. They, I'm going to have more like bokery type bits and more coming into there. And I am going to work on that a little bit more. But for now. So burnt ochre is going to come into her wings. So I'm just going to just place it along the lines a little bit. I'm going to bring it up because it's just going to like not focus. Um... No, is it fo yeah, it's focusing now? So just kind of just bring it along those lines a second, and the same with that one. Now, the very outer edge of that will be lined with a Posca, so it looks like it's glowing. And at the very end, I always add glossy accents just because it makes them look like they shine. Um, but there's so many materials that you can have. Now, within these little tiny circles I'm just going to lightly place the burnt ochre I don't know if I showed you what colour I was using 943 mm, thank you so much <laughs> I love you guys um, so I'm just putting the burnt ochre so I just want to show you when I bring chestnut and a little bit of the uh, yellow and it'll just all sort of merge so it's just going to have a little bit then I'm going to bring some of the chestnut I hope this is in frame 1081 um, I'm just going to bring that on the edge and kind of just blend it in a little bit so I've got to work a lot on this I'm just giving you examples of what I'm going to be doing and then I'm going to bring in um, yellow, I oh, hope this is there, <laughs> oh my goodness, yellow, oh crap, there we go. Um, and kind of just blend, that will be the lightest colour that blends it out. And then with my yellow ochre, just lightly... I'm placing, sorry I've gone quiet because I'm just concentrating, <laughs> I always find that, I'm just going to place a little bit of that yellow ochre into her wings, and I'm going to come back as well, so she's going to have these like ochreish wings a little bit, but I'm going to bring in the browns, 
she's going to be more of the forest, I think. He's going to be more of the light. That's how I'm going to get around it. Okay, back to um, burnt ochre. So I'm just going to um, bring that around. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun playing with this. So this is the thing, these things you need a couple of sessions, I can't do this in one. So this is just for some inspiration, this one. And also to get you to be aware of all the incredible artists that have been involved in this event, because it's so many of you. Do you know what? That's really, really, yeah, there are actually people that are paid to colour. <laughs> that would be cool, right? They really are. Okay, there really are. There's lots and lots and lots of jobs, actually. Like, like you say, Disney, um, they throw colour down and bring things to life, and they actually are paid for it. So, yeah. Thank you so much. The freebies have been posted in the chat they're also in the description if you do watch this back and also there is the schedule um that's there if you wanted to check out shaleen who is called the coloring book nook is up next i'm not sure which one she's coloring yet so it'll be a complete surprise to me so yeah for sure go check the next stream out after me as I said, I'm going to give you just a little bit of a breather because you're going to need a little bit of time to go grab a drink, go walk the dogs, <laughs> you know, all of that stuff. Um, we will have a lot of like white in these rooms as well, so they are going to be see-through. We are going to make them see-through. So again, burnt ochre, I'm just going to follow the lines. They're so pretty, Laura. So pretty. And this is going to shine through. So quickly, you see this green bopper bit? It's going to come through. So I'm just going to grab my Kelly green. Because this is like the background, which I do want. So I actually really want that to like come through as the background coming through the wings. So remember, when you're coming down with colour, make that part dull so that actually the background is coming through. That's the way to make the transparency look a bit more realistic, is that your background will pop more than the forefront colour. What's at the back will come forward, right? Yes! <laughs> I really need, talking of tea, Pickle, talking of a cup of tea. My tea fairy's not home, so I've actually gassed my way past the last hour. <laughs> okay, let's push that through as well. Let's bring in some chestnut. You get some like gasping moments when you're just thinking, oh my gosh, where is he? Come home. Come home. Don't be away for too long. What are you doing? Found me for tea. Okay, so see how wings are going to start standing out? Oh my gosh, I love it. Are you a hairdresser, Leslie? Oh, nice. I just had my hair lightened and done. I got it all chopped off. <laughs> I was like, just take it off. <laughs> I always do that. Every now and then I'm like, I go short and then I think I want long hair. And then I go short again, and then I want long hair. I yeah, I'm just yeah. That's me. Okay, I'm really really liking how this is gonna come out. Louise, yeah, do you know what? That is such a good idea. Why didn't someone do a tea fairy? <laughs> okay, burn ochre. Okay, so the, these are gonna be a lighter. Then we're gonna go on a heavier lay down here. So, yeah, they're going to be lighter. I do want to see the outside of the wings. 
um, but I do want some transparency as well. So I'm just very lightly going to place these in, stopping there and coming out there. And then with mine, I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to grab apple green. I'm just going to um, bring that spot a bit out a bit. Okay, so just like round and round a little bit. So just allowing that to come to the forefront rather than behind. I know, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really, really need a cup of tea. It's crazy. Like my teacup's just crying. You all know me by now. I love my tea. My, I just love tea. It's everything. I don't drink alcohol very rarely. It's just the odd social occasion. And that's just like, when does that happen? <laughs> so I really am a tea person. Okay, I've got chestnut. And I'm just going to uh, place a little bit at the top here, which is going to be the point of darkest at the very top. And then I'm going to grab my yellow ochre and just blend out these. I don't know if you can see it come into life, but it will do. And don't forget, when I come in with my foster, it will change again. I'm going to do the wings... Um, yeah so these are gonna this bit's gonna be see-through so we'll do that with the posca and stuff as we go along but i am gonna um try and keep them a little bit like a glowing i don't know like a glowing see-through i'm just letting my hands do what they need to do it's funny because i haven't really got a real plan with the wings i just i know i just know that they've got to be transparent ish so that is behind but I want it brought forward as if like you can see through it. Okay, I'm going with the burnt ochre. Um, I'm just going to add a few more lines in. Yeah, that one will probably look the most see-through because it's behind. It's got more background. So actually, that won't need a heck of a lot on it. I don't know. I'm going to work it out. It's like the book is on like behind her, isn't it? So that has to pop through the back. So bringing the back forward. Pickle, I don't know if you were here at the beginning, honey, but this is what we got. Can you see that? It's like um fine glitter, but it's all different hexagony shapes and stuff. So it could have like some on there. We'll have a look. Grazia! Hi my dear, how are you? <laughs> Grazia's also got three. Yeah, we're just having a little go with um I'm gonna I think I'm gonna come with um some of the glitter after pickle. But yeah, we're gonna come in with some more pans, I think, at the end. We're just playing. This is our sort of base, I suppose. I'm thinking like I know I do that in quotation marks. It's like a bit of a base and I'm kind of rolling with what my hands want to do. <laughs> I love Grazia. Hi! Oh my gosh, a massive, massive thank you to Grazia as well. I don't know if you all saw, but she drew Tilly. And I'm going to colour her when things have settled down. Um, and she's also going to be framed when she's coloured. But I'm going to put my time into that one because I want it to be exact. So bless Grazia. <laughs> yeah so grazia there's been so many um that you could have like you can check out after and there's been a few artists that have streamed as well maybe we can get you streaming one day no yes no <laughs> maybe how do you feel about that um because you also you know you do the art you do the coloring side of it as well so yeah <laughs> yes it's a saturday though you know 
Okay, so we have this twig behind as well. So just very carefully, I'm going to just put in some light umber just to signify where that branch goes. It is a branch, isn't it? It's like the rose branch. Is that right, Laura? Yeah. So it goes kind of behind. I'm just placing where that would be. So I kind of just want to bring some of it like if it was there. Bring it round a bit. I just need to make sure that I get that in there. I don't want to. I just want to place a little bit of it in. So if it was behind a little bit, just like that, and fade it in a bit. That's it. And the same with that. I'm just going to fade that up and in a bit. So there is actually some dark greens that go into the petals, but I'm just going to put a bit of the light umber to signify for myself. Just as if like they were round. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Yes, oh thank you so much. Yes, Grazi is in the house. There's a lot of artists in the house today. So thank you ladies for joining me. Like, yeah. I am so honoured um, by you all. And go check the descriptions out. Grazi has three images as well. Lisa, you got three as well. Laura's got this beautiful one here and there's Michelle's got three. Um, check out all of the stores. They are all in there. Right, can you see where that signifies where it goes behind? Look, see, automatically. Ah, oh, that's okay. <laughs> it's just, um, all right, you could have a silent stream. We'd all still be there. <laughs> We'd all still be there. Can you see that it's automatically made it look like the wings are transparent, right? So with um, these, with the branch, I'm going to bring in, before I go, um, the green ochre. I'm going to mix in some of that. There is some greens in the branches, obviously, because it's a rose one. And I'm just going to kind of fade that in. Um, it's the same with this part. I'm going to sort of bring that in and automatically round. Now, I've added that bit in. You don't have to do that bit, but I just think it adds. Now, don't forget we've got that ray. So with our razor, just remember to bring that back. So just erase slightly. Again, this is just preference. You can do your style remember it's your style coloring is your style it's not anyone else's it's yours only hey april oh thank you michelle yeah exactly laura we're just so happy to see her here there's been so many around it's so good to see okay so I'm just putting that in a little bit, right? And then with the green, I think I'm going to go for would be the Kelly Kelly green. Come on, focus. And that would go into the rest of that branch. So we've got brownie green color. So we're going to just sort of blend that all out. So I'm just placing colors right now. And you've got to signify here your leaves. So just, just kind of place a little bit of colour in there. And yep, just play around. So we've got some green going there as well. So just play around with your colours. And there's one there at the top as well. So just again, just sort of place that in. There we go. So we've got a start on this beautiful illustration. I'm going to continue with it. Oh, hi, Dorothy, and thank you. Okay, let me zoom you out one. Okay, and that is where I have got to for now. Thank you so much, Robin. <laughs> 
so that is our journey so far on this i've got quite a lot of work to do on it i'm really liking like the color scheme i'm going to be adding to it and putting stuff into it um don't forget winners that won the two pdfs um by genovia r and lisa matrokin i will email you them make sure you email me um if you need my email address again it is in the description um thank you so much to every single one of you for joining me thank you so much to lisa for genovia for your freebie uh, for your giveaways thank you to nathaniel wake and emily i've got to remember all of this now there's so much for your freebies thanks for the giveaways thanks for all the artists that have done the amount of pages you've done thank you to all the streamers for all your time you have put in and entertaining us and thank you most of all to all of the friends we've got so many friends here in this box <laughs> so yeah it's an amazing illustration thank you ever so much we have got 15 minutes I know that I, well, Chip is on my lap, like, at me. Um, oh, thank you. So, definitely go check out Shalene. Thank you so much to Laura. She's just put the next streaming platform in, which is our lovely Shalene for Colouring Book Nook. I'm going to love you and leave you on this one. I've had an amazing time, as always, for spending time with you. Sherry, did you email? I know Helen did. Um, I will get those out to you in the next half an hour. I just got to go and walk a dog and get a cup of tea. <laughs> See you in Shillings, everyone. Take care. Bye for now.